goodness. You know, I uh, debated on making this video. I thought, well, you know, this is this is really embarrassing. <laughs> um, made a video about uh, seven or uh, eight months ago, and uh, it was uh, and it's really not much to complain about. It's like someone had a marble castle, and you're complaining about uh, the plastic doorknobs on the front door. It's like, well, in the scheme of things, it's it's not that big of a deal. This is the old design Fujifilm lens cap. It's just absolutely atrocious. It's just obnoxiously horrible. It shares something in common with the Zeiss lens caps, and I made a joke saying, well, the best lenses have the absolute worst lens caps. This is a Zeiss lens cap. I replace all my Fujifilm lenses with uh, old Nikon lens caps, which are used and beat up and scratched and getting really cheap. This is a a Zeiss lens cap. It's just absolutely gumball machine quality for a really, really expensive lens, of which I've got <clears throat> nearly 20 Zeiss lenses. So, I found out from the most credible person on earth, I can't give you the information, but he's a doctor, and he's in technology, and he's in Japan, and he works for a really big famous company that I'm not going to mention, and uh, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. He was out with uh, a Fujifilm executive in Japan, and I think they were uh, swilling some beer. And uh, the uh, Fujifilm exec, according to him, said that, you know, there's this angry guy covered with tattoos on uh, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> um, is uh, talking about, uh, and I'm not angry at all, I'm extremely supportive of, uh, I said Fujifilm's the best current camera company. God knows I've spent a fortune on Fujifilm products. Anyway, uh, she said that uh, there's this angry guy complaining about our lens caps, and a guy named, and I looked him up, I'm not going to give his first name, a guy named Hiroyuki at Fujifilm, <laughs> who apparently is a uh, lead designer somewhere inside Fujifilm. He uh, designs things. Uh, some words were bandied about between her and him, to the best that I could gather, that... Uh, it's embarrassing uh, at the time that the GFX was about to roll out. It's embarrassing for Fujifilm to be, uh, well, uh, maybe I better not say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, this is funny but embarrassing. You know, it, there is such a thing as positive criticism. But apparently I made uh, this uh, gentleman uh, really pissed off. Uh, he was insulted and he went back to Fujifilm according to my contact in Japan and uh, he had his team redesign the Fujifilm lens cap. You notice that the new Fujifilm lens caps are not the cheesy caps like this. They're the substantial lens caps. Do I have one? Basically larger and smaller versions. Here we go. I'm glad I had one out here. Like this. So we went from this cheesy nonsense which you'd actually just fall off of your uh, lens if you looked at it long, wrong as, a, as opposed to this which is basically Kind of a traditionalist lens cap. It's beefier. It still has the internal squeeze design, which uh, the old lens cap had, but it just did not hold well. And uh, if you actually hit it, it had too high of a profile at the top of these. Anyway, the point being is that apparently I, I pissed, I uh, upset this guy named uh, Hiroyuki at uh, Fujifilm. Apparently the Japanese are watching my videos of all things, really. This is not hearsay or rumor. This is this is as hardcore and like, ooh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> this is embarrassing as it gets. It's not funny, but I mean, it was it was a legitimate criticism, and uh, it was not substantial. It's not like saying, oh, you know, your lens or there's something wrong with your camera. It's just a lens cap, you know. It's just a lens cap. Um, so Fujifilm redesigned the lens cap. So she talked to him the best I could gather. And Hinoyuki was really upset, mad at me, and he went to, anyway, they redesigned the lens cap, and so now this person that I know, that's a big wig in technology that has all these contacts inside imaging divisions of camera companies in Japan, he says that uh, him and his associate are calling the new lens cap the uh, Kin cap. This is totally a true story. Um... It's really embarrassing. When I heard it, I was like, oh, man. I really pissed off somebody at Fujifilm. You know, I'm really not ashamed of the video. 
uh, it was uh, logical, legitimate, um, positive criticism. You know, it's positive. I said, look, you know, the best lens companies, the best makers of lenses out there, um, should not be having like a uh, gumdrop machine type of lens caps. I mean, the Zeiss is way worse than the Fuji. The Fuji is really bad, but man, this is some really cheesy garbage from Zeiss. Just bad, 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 bad. Um, but here's an example of Fujifilm listening. Uh, the new lens cap design, and I noticed this, and it's occurred about, I don't know, six or seven months ago, I noticed that Fujifilm has redesigned the lens caps. I hadn't, I knew I criticized the cap, but I never made any connection that, you know, somebody in Japan is, is listening to what I say, but apparently they were. And uh, I was really, uh, I found out this information a little over a week ago, and I didn't want to make a video on it because it's embarrassing. But, you know, in retrospect and thinking back about it, I'm like, well, my video was legitimate. You know, everybody makes mistakes. And I look back, you know, what I said about the lens cap, was it correct? Like, yeah, it was. It's just a horrible lens cap. I actually have a bag full of these old lens caps because all my Fuji, except for this, you know, I have a Fujifilm lens. This is the redesign. I'm using this because this is the redesigned lens cap. But all my old Fuji, old, so to say, old Fujifilm lenses have a Nikon lens caps on them because this is just a really cheesy, awful design. And if it falls off, it'll scratch your front element. Well, actually, it'll scratch the coating. But the piece of plastic won't actually scratch the glass, but it can easily uh, damage the coating on the front element. And it's just, it's just uh, the worst thing, actually, is you have a really cheesy lens cap, is it falls off in your bag, and then something of substantial uh, hardness, rock wall hardness, you know, that will scratch your front element, so... Um, so, this guy that I know and uh, his associate are calling it the Ken Cap. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Look at me, I'm as serious as a heart attack. I might regret making this video and posting it, but not really. Because, in a positive sense, if it's legitimate, valid uh, um, criticism, there's a difference between valid criticism and invalid criticism. Um, and that was valid. And uh, Fujifilm made a change for the better. And um, I can really contrast that with Nikon and other companies that people say, God, geez, Nikon, why do you keep doing this nonsense? And Nikon's like, yeah, we're Nikon. <laughs> you know, we're too good to listen to you. You know, who the hell are you, you miserable... And that's the, you know, the big, big companies are just like IBM. It's like, well, you can't... No, no, no. Everything we do is perfect. You can't criticize us. It's kind of like the government. When an entity becomes so large, I forget what it is, some ancient animal that's uh, died out when the dinosaurs died out. What was the thing? If, like, if somebody stepped on this animal's tail, the animal was so large it would take something like three minutes for the signal to uh, hit the brain. <laughs> That's the problem with large companies. I mean, I want Fujifilm to be large, but I mean, apparently they listen. It's like, hey, it's part of positive criticism, but apparently I pissed this guy off at Fujifilm. I'm repeating myself now, because this video is kind of embarrassing. But uh, it's still an interesting story, and it is not a story. I mean, it's it's legit. <sighs> Fuji! <laughs> Ooh. Um, uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, Hiroyuki at Fujifilm for upsetting you, but... You know, my uh, criticism was valid, and apparently you agree since you guys redesigned the lens cap. Congratulations. I mean, thank you. Thank you for redesigning the lens cap. I mean, if that's the most anybody's going to complain about a large camera company, then that's not much. It's like, yeah, your lens cap's really cheesy. In the scheme of things, that's that's not much. Anyway... Thanks for watching. I thought you'd enjoy that story. I'm still a little bit mortified, but at the same time, not really. Thanks. Bye.